everybody, today I tried something different. I have never done a full matte eye look. I did it. I did compensate by using a few more luminous products on the face. I will list all the face products in the description box. Now let's get started on the actual demonstration of how I did this. I am using one of my favorite palettes. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Quite yummy. And I usually let's say, let's be real, I always reach for all the pretty shimmer shades, but I'm gonna try something very different. I'm gonna use the matte shades. I've never done an all matte look, whether it's on camera or just for fun. So let's play along. So just to make sure everything blends really easily, cause that's always a concern with matte, I'm gonna use the Divinity shade, which is the lightest kind of my skin tone color all over the lid with a big fat brush. Oh, this smells so good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm spreading shadow all over and it smells like chocolate. I love it. Like fake sweet chocolate. All right, if you're not as fair as me, you might not want to do it all the way up to the brow bone like I did, because it'll be very obvious, but it works for me. Now I'm just gonna kind of do the same technique I do when I do shimmer shades. I'm just gonna pick the shades that are in the matte version. So lay down a crease. I'm going to layer matte. I think like the key to a, it's my theory, is that the key to a good matte look is to layer a lot of shades so you get the depth that a shimmer usually provides. So I'm going to start with the lightest of the mattes uh, that has color, which is Cashew Chu. Cashew Chu. I will list all this in the description box, the colors I'm using and where they're going. And it's really barely showing up, but it is going to help blend out any transition there, anything in the crease. Admittedly, that didn't give me much. So I'm gonna hop over to Almond Truffle, which is a little darker. And Bosley's gonna drink his water and we're all gonna listen in. If you see, I'm not, I'm staying in the socket line. I'm not pulling it down because I'm gonna do other colors. This is gonna kind of, <laughs> thank you for the sound effects, Bosley gonna kind of elongate the eye a little bit. I'm probably gonna do this more than once, but I'm going back in and laying with a flat shader brush, which will be, it's denser, so it gives me more pigment, more color payoff. I'm just gonna brighten up that lid a little bit more. Now I'm gonna warm things up and deepen things up. I'm using Mocha, which is just a true brown, and I'm gonna punch it using like a, um, this is a fake MAC 217. It's an old Sigma brush. I don't remember what the new numbering is called. And I'm gonna use the tip of it to punch it in the corner, add a little more, and then kind of bring it up into the outer corner, up into the crease, and then kind of swirl it around just to add a little color, a little depth, a little dimension. I'm going to bring a little bit of that mocha shade on a pencil brush right underneath the lash line and connect it with that outer corner. I'm anchoring my pinky, by the way. I'm putting my pinky on my uh, face, kind of anchoring it. I don't know why, but I always do that when I do my under lower lashes. I can't decide. I want to add a little more depth to this outer corner, and I can't decide between Bordeaux, which is like a reddish maroon brown, or Malted, which is just another deeper, warmer brown. I'm gonna go with Malted. It's um, it's a really pretty, rich, warm brown that I don't see in a lot of palettes. So I'm taking an even thinner, like more pointed brush, which is the Mac. 222. I don't even know if this is still available, but that's what I'm using. And I'm again, I like to just kind of poke it in the corner there and kind of swirl it around and feather it in a little and then up. Okay, I'm going to blend this all out with a fluffy brush. This is like a no-name generic brand from Walgreens fluffy brush, um, which I, they don't make anymore. I wish they did. And I just added a little, instead of using a, a, a bare brush or one that has like the same color as my brow bone, I'm using the shade that I used for the initial uh, crease, the Cashew Chew. And I'm going over, a, like 
a little bit of the top of where I put my crease colors and a little above it as well. And just going back and forth. And I'm also gonna go around the outside edge, just soften it all. And because it's not completely bare of color, I won't take too much color away. And it does add a nice little transition. I'm gonna go back in with a malted shade and a really thin smudger brush and go along the lash line. I actually really like this. It gives a really nice soft effect instead of the harsher, not that harsh, but harsher line. So there is with the eyeliner, eyeshadow is eyeliner, and this eye is without. Hmm, yeah, I like it. Now all I have to do is curl my lashes and I'm using my Shu Amura. Does anyone else use two hands like this to curl their lashes or am I just a big old wimp? Please let me know. I'm using the Estee Edit, it has some crazy name, what is it called? The Estee Edit, the edgiest up and out double mascara. Well, I don't know how edgy it is, but I'm using the side that's labeled Lift, which is a very small brush. I'm using that on the bottom because it's great for bottom lashes. Then we go in with the other side that's for volume. It's your traditional big fat thick one. I really like this mascara. I really love that my refrigerator is making knocking noises. Why? I'm going back with the little tiny side just to get into the corners and look. Oh, wow. It works. That's the finished look. Let me finish up with my hair and we'll talk about it. So here's the full finished look. You got a peek of it, of course, at the beginning of the video. I am really pleased with how this turned out. I don't know why I haven't tried more matte looks. I thought it was gonna look flat and more aging, but actually it's very fresh and it was very easy. So I think I'm gonna start pulling out some of my other matte palettes. I don't have a lot. I have the Physicians Formula Quads, which I love. I have the original Tartlet, which I need to just start playing with because there's more like pinkish shades and more, more cool tone shades. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start exploring this look. Let me know what you think of this if you wanna see more looks like this using other palettes. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Welcome to another look at what's going on in the drugstore. This month I got pretty much everything from Walgreens. Yeah, everything from Walgreens and CVS. And let's get started.